John Boy Billy. Yo. Mad Max here. How you doing? Take a wild kiss. <laughs> I say you're mad. You dang skippy, I'm mad. I'm madder than Michelle Obama at a petite size sample sale. <laughs> no, I'm mad. Oh, wow. All right, boys, listen, I got our story of the week. Right. Washington strikes another blow against hurtful stereotypes. Mm. The words mother and father will be removed from U.S. passport applications and replaced with gender-neutral terminology. Oh, yeah, this can't miss. (laughs) According to a pinhead who works for the State Department, the words in the old form were mother and father. They will now be called parent one and parent two. May I just say, good work, State Department. (laughs) Y'all are really earning your money this month. These improvements are being made to provide a gender-neutral description of a child's parents in recognition of different types of family. All right. First of all, they're not improvements. Second of all, my big old butt. In case you're wondering, says here, the decision to remove the traditional parenting names was not an act of political correctness. Is that right? And what would you call it, genius? Let's hear from Jennifer Kreisler, the director of the Family Equality Council. Mm. She shares a little story about the day she and her female partner got passports for her twin sons. Hmm. So it's not about political correctness, but the first person they talk to is gay. Coincidence? (laughs) Anyway, this gal says, even though my partner was their legal mother and had adopted them after I gave birth to them, she still had to put her name in the father field. That is both discriminatory and makes us feel like second-class citizens. Hmm. Well, bless y'all's hearts. (laughs) Maybe you could write a children book about it. You could call it Heather Has Two Passports. <laughs> if you're wondering why this country is going broke, it might be because we're paying people to work on stuff like this. Huh. And by the way, they're genius. If you gave birth to them, that would make you the mother. In case none of y'all spent any time in the fourth grade, every person that's ever been born had a mother that was a woman and a father that was a man. Yeah. That ain't a hurtful stereotype. It's basic science. Daddy might have done his part with help from a turkey baster, but he was definitely in on it at some point. Well, yeah, but mother and father make some people feel less included. Hey, a passport is good for 10 years. If you can't take getting your feelings hurt at least once a decade, maybe you ain't ready to travel the world. Parent one and parent two. Uh, How bad is this idea? Mm. And hey, how do they decide who gets to be one and who gets to be two? I can see them arguing at the airport already. Also, oh, you're parent one. I think not. Hey, all you do is sit around watching a Bravo channel all day. I'm out there in the real world dressing dummies up for the front window at Macy's. In other words, girlfriend, I'm parent one. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Thelma and Louise, could y'all have your little hissy at home? I'm trying to get groped so I can get on the plane and take these nerve-wracking kids to Disney World. Now sit down, shut up, and quit worrying my life. Right